Hello, I think this is the ultimate buck converter, but let me know what you think. So here's the buck box. Um, I'll peel that off. It's made by Juntec and it's the Juntec uh, Digital Control DC Regulated Power Supply DPM 8600. It's quite big. It's uh, 18 centimetres along the front here and it's uh, 15 centimetres that way and it's probably about eight centimeters tall but this is a 50 amp unit now they do other units uh, they do a 5 amp an 8 amp 16 24 and this one which is the dpm 8650 50 amps uh, input voltage is 10 to 75 volts output voltage is 0 to 60 volts some monstrous great big uh, input connectors and the output connectors are doubled up because with this being a buck converter you're likely to be putting out more current on the output than you are on the input lower voltage of course on the output there's some big chunky inductors in there on the other side there is a fan there's an on off switch and there's also this four-way port which says ground BA 5 volts or you can have ground RT 5 volts so I think that's receive and transmit I think that's UART. Now I was looking at these input connectors which have these lifter type oh that's not connected uh, lifter type um, caged sockets and I was thinking hmm that square section Mm, these banana plugs are also kind of square section. I wonder if that would go in there and it does. So I think I'm going to trap a couple of these four millimeter banana plugs in this socket and uh, use that as my connection. Uh, yeah, these are fixed in pretty good. So what I want now is a DC supply uh, which ends in banana sockets. So I have this, this is coming from one of the big Bluetti power banks. It's on the 12 volt, 25 amp output, which I'm going to need to test the high current abilities of this. So this will do, let's make sure I get my pause and neg the right way around. Yeah, pause is up there and neg is there. So I'll switch the Bluetti on and then this should power up. DC subsystem on. Okay, so there was a brief whir of the fan and now this has come on and you can see that we've got uh, nine volts and five amps as the uh, voltage limit and current limit. Um, this is all quite big, so I've zoomed out a bit uh, despite my messy desk. Right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the output using again these square section banana plugs. So that's the positive to drop the cage right down like so and I'll put one on the negative and then I've got these um, to turn banana plugs into sockets and I've got a 50 watt car headlight bulb which will create quite a good load right nine volts will mean the bulb will come on quite dim I've got a feeling the output from the power bank is about 13.2 volts something like that so we should be able to get 12 volts out but uh, 9 volts we won't be pulling 5 amps at that voltage press on to turn the unit on and yeah we're drawing 3.55 amps at 9 volts uh, can I just no that does load uh, how do I set yes yeah, set yeah there's the 9 flashing so we'll go up to 10 11 12 so at 12 volts we're pulling 4.1 amps and that should stop flashing in a minute or we'll just press set again yeah that's it uh, so now 12 volts output and it's showing me the current it's in constant voltage so voltage limit is the green light um, if I made it go into well actually if I set 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 if I bring this down to say uh, 4 amps you can now see that it's in current limit it's pulled the voltage down in order to limit the current to 4 amps 
and you can see that the yellow light is on I think just about so it's in constant current or current limit. So this is all jolly good fun and if I get another bulb we can pull some extra current. Oh that's uh, it's still current limiting at 4 amps so let's take the current limit Oh, it remembers the last position you edited. That's good. So up to five, six, seven, eight, nine amps. Let's go for 10 amps. Why not? Uh, so it's now putting 12 volts out at 8.3 amps. Uh, well, that's going to get quite hot. So I'm going to set the uh, voltage to, let's limit it to nine volts again, just so that these don't get too hot. But also supplied with this unit is this, a remote control panel. And this remote control panel is wireless. Uh, it's also battery powered. So if I switch it on, um, I'll just peel the protector off this screen. And yes, it has talked to this and it's showing you the set voltage and current. So nine volts and 10 amps. And so this OK button is mirrored on this OK button. And this is completely wireless. There's no connection. This has um, a DC barrel jack input to charge the battery that's in here. You can see a little battery symbol there. Uh, there's also a USB type B, good old fashioned printer port uh, connector. So if I now press OK on here, it mirrors OK on this unit. And we can see the voltage, the current. And this also displays watts. It also displays the temperature inside this unit, I think it is, uh, the set points um, and ooh, all sorts of other stuff, radio, signal, strength, um, the address and channel. You can change the wireless channel and the unit address. Uh, battery level on this unit. Uh, it's got a timer and an amp hours counter. So you just get a lot more information on here let's turn the lamps off again, uh, than you do on this unit. But the two are just in constant communication with each other. And I think you can see the little comm light there briefly flashing periodically so you know they're communicating. So yeah, this extends the functionality of this unit, which is slightly awkward to program with its four button interface. It's a lot simpler on here. So let's adjust the volts, I'll press V. Now I can edit the V parameter, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go right up to 20 volts. These bulbs will hate that. Switch on. And of course it doesn't go to 20 volts because my input voltage is only about 13. So yes, it's gone to 13 volts, which is fine on car headlamps. Uh, let's switch that back off because it's very bright. But what this also has is it has settings uh, for limits, a lower limit below which you can't edit uh, the voltage and current parameters and an upper limit. So say I was putting 50 volts into this thing and that would definitely blow my output. I wanted to allow myself voltage control, but within limits, this allows you to set those lower and upper limits. So if I go into set, so parameter number one is load, save, uh, hours and amp hours clear. So actually I might as well run that. Okay, run. That resets these uh, two counters down here, which are counting up hours and amp hours. Um, what else can we set? Set. Number four is address. Number five is channel. Quick response. I'm not entirely sure what that is yet. Uh, auto output, you can get this thing to automatically come on when it receives power or you can get it to switch on in its off state. Uh, upper limit setting, so I will set that and lower limit setting. Let's just do the upper limit setting. So let's press V to edit the voltage uh, field. I'll set that down to 12. Then I'll press set for the upper limit setting. Uh, I'll OK that and run that. And that sets my maximum voltage to 12 volts. Now let's go set. Next parameter is lower limit setting. I don't want to run that yet. So we'll go to V, set that say to 10 volts. Go to set, go into the lower limit setting and run that. So now my voltage absolute limits are 10 and 12 volts. And now if I go into ooh, V, 
I can't take it above 12 volts and I can't take it below 10 volts because 10 volts says min simply won't go below that and 12 volts it simply won't go above that it says max I can have 11 volts if I want so now if I switch it on with the OK button I can work within safe limits of 10 volts 11 volts 12 volts and I can't go outside of those two parameters and I've also set upper and lower parameters on the amp field um, and because I set them both to the same 10 amps it actually says lock so uh, I simply now can't adjust the amp field because it's locked at 10 amps simply because my lower limit is 10 amps and my upper limit is also 10 amps and uh, here parameter 10 is limit reset so if I uh, okay that and run parameter 10 it just takes away these uh, voltage and current limits we'll just look at the rest of the parameter setting brightness for this display auto power off I think that's auto power off of this display uh, or this controller I should say uh, language English or Chinese restore to default settings completely uh, resets all of the memories I think and that sort of thing and there's an about page if I run that you just get uh, an about page uh, doesn't give you the firmware version but it does give you the website so once I've set my volts let's set it to 9 volts and I've set my amps let's set it to 5 amps and I've switched on my output oh that's coming on very slowly um, then I can actually switch this controller off this controller only needs to be on for either monitoring of volts amps and watts or changing parameters if you're not doing either of those two things yeah you can just switch it off so is that or is that not the ultimate buck converter up to 75 volts in up to 60 volts out up to 50 amps with its own little wireless remote controller for monitoring and also setting this unit uh, thus not having to use this four button interface is that the ultimate buck converter I think it probably is now also supplied are these two cables you've got USB type A to barrel jack and that's for pl plugging in there and charging up the little battery that's in here we'll have to uh, have another video where I take this stuff apart um, there's also this one which is USB to what looks like four wires which I think goes into that connector on the end this is probably a UART in here and so with a suitable program on your PC you could receive uh, data from the main unit and there is talk in the manual about Modbus I don't know anything about Modbus if you do you can do Modbus so I will come back to this and do another video because I want to do teardowns of the main unit and the controller there's also parameter number six on here which is called quick response I thought it would be the rate at which the output voltage comes up doesn't appear to be there is also a parameter on here I think if you press and hold this you go into all these parameters uh, that's for default settings that's whether the output comes on when you power it on these are all settable here as well um, but there's this one number four called fast discharge now is this the same as quick response does this rapidly discharge the output if there's no load on there I don't know I will have to come back to all this stuff so yeah I just think this has to be the ultimate buck converter um, the the sheer input voltage and output voltage and the current rating and this little um, wireless controller I mean what do you think do you think this is the ultimate cheerio